So as you see in the intro, we are working with some salmon today. So first, I am going to just wash out any sand there is. And then we are going to remove all of the fin. The fin that we are not going to remove is the cod fin. Um, but all of the rest we are going to remove. And we are going to cut it open and remove all of the guts and stuff inside so after scaling this fish removing all the fin that i mentioned except for the caudal fin we leave that fin on um we'll just trim the edges somewhat and clean the inside i have some green seasoning that i previously made from the seasoning in my garden which is some side celery Bandania, and I had some pimento I put some salt in it I also put some ginger I also have some sweet pepper growing in my garden and I have some thyme growing in my garden as well I put all of that in a blender with some salt and a little little bit of water and I let that marinate overnight so the following day is when I am going to prepare this big fish and what I'm going to use with this big fish because I want a nice crust on the outside would be some whole wheat flakes. You could use normal corn flakes, all right, but I am going to use today in this recipe would be the um, wheat flakes. So after seasoning and I had it marinating overnight, I decided to just make some little slits on the surface of the fish now normally you would do this when you're done cleaning the fish but i didn't want to do that that the day before i said the day that i'm going to cook this fish is when i'm going to do it so that's what's going on here and after i put those little marks on the fish i also let that sit in the refrigerator for another hour before I start cooking because I wanted the little slits that I made that the season get into the fish properly you know so again we remove all the fin the gill the scale the only fin that we didn't remove is the caudal fin and I um, I left that overnight to marinate the next day I take it out take a knife and make some marks and just rub some more of that green seasoning in those grooves that we're making and we're going to let that sit for an hour and then i'm going to start the process with my wheat flakes you can use normal corn flakes you can use crackers you could even use breadcrumbs but today recipe is about me using some wheat flakes that i had there and i'm going to use half a teaspoon of my homemade Cajun and my homemade Obe seasoning. I use half a teaspoon each. So this is the wheat flakes that I'm talking about and as I mentioned I am using half teaspoon each of my Obe and Cajun seasoning. I'm going to add it to the flakes, mix it up properly, then place it in my food processor and make sure it is perfectly minced if you have a rolling pin and you don't have a food processor you can place it in a tea towel and just roll it on the surface or you could even put it in a blender and this is what it looks like after i placed it in the food processor so now i am placing three tablespoons of butter in my preheating pan and you want to make sure and coat every area, angle, every crease and crevice of this fish. You want to make sure and coat this fish properly in that butter. You could use a light butter because that's what I'm using, a light butter. And once that fish is thoroughly coated in that butter, you're going to place it on the crumbs that I 
minced up in the food processor and as I said the same thing you do with the butter is the same thing you're going to do with the crumbs make sure every area every crease and crevice of this fish is coated properly with the minced cereal as I said you can use bread you can use crackers but in today's recipe we are using whole wheat cereal place it on some wax paper and we're going to coat the other fish but I'm going to save you that time and show you the two of them completely coated and I'm going to place this in my preheated oven my oven is at 375 degrees and I'm going to place that in the in the oven for 30 minutes fish cook within 15 to 20 minutes but I wanted it really crunchy so that's why I left it in the oven for 30 minutes but as I previously said you can cook it between that 20 to 25 minutes if you want it extra crunchy like I like it go ahead and leave it for 30 minutes it was full of flavor because of the seasoning we left that to marinate a day before and before we even start cooking I place some groove in the fish and I let that sit with some extra seasoning for another hour and we pre-seasoned also our cornflakes so everything was full of flavor. Hope you enjoy watching. Thanks for stopping by and again I do appreciate the support and if you're not subscribed hit that button. Now. <coughs>